Hi, I'm Paul Minahan with Minahan Painting. We are a painting company that's been in Chicago for 20 years and I am also a School of the Art Institute graduate, so I'm an artist running a painting company. For the last 20 years we've been creating beautiful finishes, murals, and general painting interior and exterior for Chicago and the suburbs. What I want to do today is basically share with you some basic faux painting techniques that you can do yourself. Um, a lot of us are quarantined, we're at home, we're not going out, and uh, this is an opportunity for you to make a change in your home. You know, the paint stores are open, you can still go there. What we're going to do is a rag roll, which is basically faux 101, and this is uh, the look we're going to achieve right here. I'm going to actually do it here, and then you'll see how I got from this to this. You know, I just want to be able to do something positive in this time. I want to give back all that I've learned. Uh, so this will hopefully be the first in a series of many videos um, that you can explore, learn from, and uh, I just am really looking forward to seeing pictures of what you've done. I hope to hear from you. Thank you. Hello. I am back. We have prepped off this area and as I said we are about to do a rag roll finish on this area. Uh, before we start I want to go over some of the materials you're going to need. Also this uh, color that we have is called Metropolitan. It's Benjamin Moore paint or a brand. Okay, best uh, Benjamin Moore you can get aura. And Metropolitan is AF690. It was the color of the year uh, for 2019, and um, that's our base coat. Then you are going to want to pick a, a light color and a dark color to, to work with. And you want to have colors that basically relate to your base coat or complement it. So what I've chosen to do for my dark color, I added a little bit of Vanderberg Blue, just a little bit, to the base coat. And I have that in a separate container right here that I've mixed up with a little bit of water and a little bit of clear glaze in it. Um, this is a clear glaze. It's also Benjamin Moore acrylic glaze. You can put in 50% glaze to 50% paint. It'll make the paint translucent. Uh, it'll give it more depth. Um, and it just gives a nice finish. So that's my dark color. For my lighter color, I actually took the Metropolitan and added a little bit of white to it and again some water and some glaze and that's what that looks like. This way I know all the colors are going to work together because they all have a little bit of the base coat in them. So it's really important to think about how you're going to harmonize and what kind of mood you want. With a rag roll like this it tends to be a little more active but I still want it to be a, a quiet motion, a quiet feeling to it. So it's important to me that there's enough contrast you can see it, but not so much that it's jarring. And that's the kind of feeling I want to get. Uh, as you can see here, we've taped off with blue tape. Uh, put your tarp down, make sure you have a clean space. Get rid of anything you don't need in the space so that you can feel calm and ready to go. Okay, so I told you about some of the materials you need, but I didn't tell you about what kind of fabric to use when you're doing a rag roll. My favorite is a cotton poly blend. I usually go to the thrift store and get sheets uh, and give them a wash and then cut them up into squares that are approximately a foot and a half by two feet. Uh, what I like about the cotton poly blend is that you get a very nice pattern with it. It's very, um, it gives a good pattern. If you went with 100% cotton it would be too thick, too absorbent, and you'd get a really mushy pattern. What I like to do is go like this and basically drop it in your hand. And then you can rearrange it a little bit. You want to hold it with an open palm, okay? One, one of the problems a lot of people have when they start this is they hold it with a fist and then they, they start pounding the wall. You actually, you're actually using your palm more than your fingers and you're kind of just holding this and as you 
move across the surface, you're rolling the tips of your pattern to make that impression. Um, and then when I'm working, you'll see me rearrange the rag and put it together again. Uh, it's actually, all this is very simple. It comes naturally, but it's good that I'm telling you this, just so you keep it in mind. Okay, so we're going to go to the first color, which is this um, kind of darker color. This is my choice for the darker color. I've already got it saturated with paint, and I've got my gloves on, so I'm going to now put it in my hand, like we talked about, like that. A lot of nice pattern. It's loose, and here we go. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but you may not be able to see it too well right now, but the thing about latex paint is that it dries darker. So I know exactly what I'm going to get, and it's going to look exactly like this when it's done. And I'm just rolling that rag very lightly. You see that? See that pattern this is making? When you're getting to edges, say this is in your other wall, tape off your other wall. And then when you get to the edge, just gently place the rag on the edge. And that's going to help make the pattern consistent from your edge to your middle. You want your pattern to look like it just goes on forever. Okay. Let's see what I'm doing here. Uh, you can see where I started, it's starting to dry, it's getting darker. And at this point, I'll take a step back and take a look, how is my pattern doing? It's pretty nice down here. Right up here I have some open areas that, I, that I'm going to fill in these little areas a little bit. I just do that with a little touch of a rag, just like that. I'm going to finish this off. You may have noticed too, I haven't had to put more paint in my rag yet, but after you do an area about this size, you're going to need to dip your rag back in your paint, squish it out real well, clean your hands, and start again. It's looking pretty good. It's a nice random pattern. Um, a couple things to watch for. Don't get into a pattern way of doing it. Don't do it all the same. Keep your pattern kind of flowing and organic. Also, um, keep how you hold the rag consistently loose. Make sure you're not going like this. Make sure you're not hitting like that. It's really fairly gentle process. Um, another thing I wanted to say is this finish uh, looks great on ceilings. Uh, looks great um, for your zoom background and the nice thing about it too it's so easy to do touch-ups on. If you make a mistake all you need to do is paint a little of your base coat over it and just redo it. It's just the most forgiving finish in the world so don't be afraid to uh, try this out. Okay so now I'm gonna go with my lighter color uh, I chose the lighter color as the last color because I want that to be dominant. You want your last color is going to be the one that's dominant. So just keep that in mind when you're planning your finish. Okay, I'm going to start this time in this corner. And you can see right away that it looks lighter than that. But again, what did I tell you? Latex paint dries darker. That's not just a line, it's actually true. The water in the paint evaporates and then it's darker. So it should look a little too light when you're first painting it. Okay. Notice how I really have a roll. I really have my my rag is like a Almost like a tennis ball size ball. And it might slip on you a little bit. That's okay. Don't worry about that. It's not meant to be all the same. Just like us, we're not meant to be all the same. 
carefully see how the edge blends really nice there again as I'm moving you're not seeing something I'm doing is I'm I'm kind of moving the rag as I go and I'll reposition it just so I get you know the parts that uh, that I haven't used yet so I can use all the paints in the rag okay now I've covered it I'm just gonna take a look at it there's some areas that I want to add a little more, so it's no problem. I'm going to just go over it a little more. I don't like too much of this dark showing through, so it's easy. Much easier to add than subtract. Okay, I think that's good for now. Okay, so... Thank you very much for taking the time to be with me as I explain how to do rag rolling. And you can see here, look at how nicely it blends. This is what you can do on your own wall. Um, besides your walls, think of other spaces like behind your zoom camera, on your ceiling. Um, you can do metallics. Another nice thing that I actually didn't want to do here because you can't see it on the camera is if you take a polyurethane, like a gloss poly, and just do that on a plain wall, it makes a beautiful, beautiful finish. Uh, you can experiment with that too. Um, I think that's it for now. Thank you so much. Um, I am available for consultation. I also obviously have a painting company in Chicago. If you need anything, don't hesitate. Give me a call. Minahan Painting. And thank you very much.